Home cooks are already starting to think about their Thanksgiving spreads, and no holiday meal would be complete without a great pie. Master baker Joe Schlott shows our Jen Pichano how to bake up a beauty in this week's Cleveland Cooks. We're switching it up from savory to sweet, making a dessert today, and Grey House Pies has pretty much perfected every pie on the planet. I got Joe here, he's gonna show me how to make one of their best sellers, apple pie. Sure, that All is right. a best seller. I'm not a baker, so you're gonna All have to talk right. me easy. through this here. Easy wheezy. The general rule of thumb for a pastry is you're gonna have um, twice as much flour as fat. So okay. in, in our case, we use butter. We've got one cup of fat, mm -hmm. so we need two, two cups, cups of flour. flour. So your flour in there, Throw your butter in there and a tiny bit of sugar, really to taste. Do about four tablespoons of sugar. Do a little pinch of salt. <laughs> the butter, people uh, get over fanatical about how cold it is, as long as it's cold. It doesn't have to be frozen. We'll go ahead and turn it on nice and slow to start with. And it'll start beating up the butter. This place we... gets messy fast, doesn't it? And, and all the time. <laughs> and we're gonna beat it to the mythical pea-sized crumb. So it only takes takes a few seconds. With it running on low, go ahead, turn on low. Put in maybe three tablespoons of water. The less water, the better. So you just want to put enough water for it to come together, and I would say three tablespoons should do it. The less you beat it, the more flaky it'll be. You've got a great internal timer, don't you? So yeah. we're looking for it to go into a ball? Just starting to come together, yeah. So it's oh, getting really, that. really close. There look you have it. I made a dough. We'll smush it down. Go ahead, roll her out. Look at this. I could, I could cancel that help wanted ad. <laughs> so make it big enough to go into whatever pie plate you're using. The scary part is getting it from the table to your pan. Well, I showed you the trick. Go ahead and show everybody. Okay, instead of picking it up and manhandling yeah, it, right? Yeah. And you're gonna lay that over there. There you go. There we go. Look at That's that. Really there. Just get it pressed all down in there, and then you just start scraping it off the edge. That super quick. Yeah, it's, it's really easy. I feel like I don't do it because it's so intimidating because no. I think it's going to take me an hour. So we got some apples here. So what we're going to do is just fill up the shell. Okay. So spice filling, it can vary quite a bit, but mm -hmm. we just like sugar and cinnamon. So okay. we're going to put about a half a cup of spice on there. We'd have to charge about $30 for a pie if you were making them. <laughs> that's right. Now we need a topping. Two cups of flour. Okay. We'll do about a cup of sugar and then your butter the same way. About a half a pound of butter. Now throw that in there and turn the mixer on low. We're going to take this to just before it comes together. I would shut it off about now so you can kind of see the consistency. Mm -hmm. So some big chunks are good. Just throw it on? Throw it on. Just like wrap confetti? two hands, two hands, two hands. Okay. So put it on a sheet pan or cookie sheet and because it will boil over. We're going to put this in, what is it, 375? 375 for 45 minutes. This looks amazing. This is the money shot. Look at this. This looks good enough to eat with a cup of coffee. You can do that. Can you enjoy me? Sure. I want to make sure I get all that apple filling in there. Pretty good. I did pretty good, right? Almost as good as ours. <laughs> Oh my, that looks good. Yeah. Want to make your favorite restaurant dish next? Well, tweet Jen at Jen Pichano with the hashtag CLE Cooks or send us an email, clevelandcooks at 19actionnews.com.